Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be talking about what I think is the most damaging or like best for DPS heavy weapon, which is the Gatling Plasma. In my opinion, I know the Plasma Caster and the Holy Fire with the right rolls on it do a lot of damage as well, but this would be my pick for the most powerful heavy weapon. But let me know in the comments what you guys think is. And to get this weapon, you can go to the White Springs service entrance that I'm showing on the map here. And from the entrance here, once you get inside, of course, um, I'm just going to take you the way where to go. Because if you haven't been in here more than, you know, a hundred times, this place is extremely confusing. So, like I, like I mean, if you've even been in here a couple times, it could be um, confusing. Make sure you look for that military wing, because that's where we're really going, like I'm showing here. But this is where you have to go to get the Gatling Plasma and the plan for it. I'm not sure if you can get it at any of the train stations. I think the Brotherhood vendor might have it. I'm not sure. But I know for a fact you can get a Gatling Plasma here and the plan, which I'm going to show as well. Just in case you want to, you know, scrap a bunch, or I should say craft a bunch and then scrap a bunch to get all the plans for it. Or if you just, you know, want to be able to craft it for somebody else, maybe. Now, this is the Gatling Plasma that I will be using. It's anti-armor, 25% um, weapon speed, and it reloads 15% faster. Um, a bloody one would be great for this build as well with the same effects. So, yeah, pretty much any one will do, but this would be the top of the line for them, I think, in my opinion. Now, let's get into the perks that I'm using for this build. Of course, you can use whatever perks you want, but this is just what I'm using and I had fun with, so I thought I would share that with you guys. So these are the special points that I'm using. Um, I also will include a beginner's build just after I show all these stats in case you are not level 7,000 or whatever and you want to get started on this build. But if you are a professional, these are the perks that I'm using for my build with all, you know, legendary perk cards unlocked and maxed. And just in case you wanted to throw together, this build is an extremely fun and powerful build. So I definitely suggest you giving it a try. Now here's the beginner's build that I put together with no legendary perk cards in case you want to start working towards this build and you're only like, you know, level, you know, well, I would say below level 300. You're still considered a newer player, in my opinion. The game's been out for five or six years now. But I hope this beginner build helps you guys get started as well. You gotta start somewhere, right? And I want to point out, too, the ammo for this uh, weapon is extremely easy to make, and it's very it lasts a long time, too. So all you need to do is make plasma cores here at the uh, Tinker's Workbench, and you can see the materials that it costs to make it. And then if you want to go the Ultrasight route like I do, then you just have to turn those plasma cores into Ultrasight plasma cores. You need actual plasma cores and the Yellow Cake Flux and some Ultrasight to make the Ultrasight plasma cores. But they last forever. Um, you're also going to want to be using a power armor with this build to take advantage of the stabilized perk card under intelligence, especially if you're going for that bloodied Gatling Plasma. I recommend the Union or the T-65 are probably the best two power armors to go with. Also, the mutations that I'm using, Adrenal Reaction, Healing Factor, Herbivore for Company T maybe, Herd Mentality, Marsupial, Scaly Skin, and Speed Demon, or Speed Demon I would highly recommend for uh, mutations and just to show what the electric absorption does here like you're pretty much invincible against energy weapons like it's absolutely hilarious and this is just really good considering i would suggest being a low health with this as well to um, take advantage of nerd rage so you this is basically what most people would call a bloody build although you do not need a bloodied weapon to use it and you can see with electric absorption on it's pretty much impossible to kill me in uh, a silo now to show some damage that it does to some bigger enemies, like it just destroyed a behemoth here. Um, even not shooting a Myrler Queen's legs, you can see that, uh, you know, it's still killing her very fast. Um, I think we got a Sheep Squatch here, you can see how fast it killed it too. I wasn't even hitting him in the face, and it just destroyed him. So very overpowered build. Very overpowered gun, in my opinion. Um, the only thing is, is the accuracy with it. It's not so easy to hit smaller enemies like Scorch sometimes. Even Scorch Beasts, if they're flying, can be a pain. If they land, you can see it will absolutely destroy them. But even if they're flying in the air, it 
still is more than easy to aim to take them out and it will take them out very fast as you can see so like i said the accuracy isn't amazing on this weapon so just keep that in mind and if you are going to be going after like general mobs a lot like i do like some people just want to use this build maybe for fighting scorch beast queens but if you plan on keeping this as a build for a while i do recommend having some other heavy guns like the gatling gun like i'm showing here the 50 cal would be great too you might need to put bandolier on but just a weapon to take out those general general mobs although you can use this to take out whatever you want um, if you wanted to fight a scorch beast queen even solo it will more than do the trick against her i don't even think i had adrenaline going here you can see the damage that it's taking off her it's not like a railway rifle or anything but definitely more than overpowered and that's pretty much it everybody um this is definitely my pick for the highest or the most powerful um, heavy gun in the game. I'm sure there's some people out there that will disagree with me and I totally am fine with that Let me know in the comments what you guys think is the most powerful um, Heavy gun in the game and, or if you agree with me, let me know as well I love reading the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video And I really hope it helps you guys, you know, maybe make a build that you were looking for and have some fun with Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a great day